Good morning. It is Monday morning and another time for another episode. So, um, we are here in Columbia, South Carolina, actually fixing to pull in to Schneider Electric in Hopkins, South Carolina, just outside of Columbia, to deliver this load of mine. And uh, then we are heading home. So, a lot of exciting stuff this week. I'm actually going to go visit a bridge. Uh, an old bridge. Actually, it's South Carolina's oldest bridge. And, um, Nash. He sees a lot of things. Anyway, um, it's got a lot of haunted stories that's attached to this bridge. So, we're going to go do that this week. And I think I'm going to do a whole special video on that bridge. So, a lot of interesting facts about it. So, anyway, let's get this week started. I'm not heading for the stars, driving down the boulevard at night. Playing cool, play on repeat, watching people on the street as I go by. And it doesn't even matter to me where I go. I just feel I need to take a ride. Coffee cup to go And I'm gonna hit the road tonight Now my wheels All right, I've made it to the receiving Now I gotta go inside and tell them I'm here All right, I gotta go to a different location It's funny, Schneider where I picked up at I went to receiving and I had to go to shipping to get loaded Oh I went to shipping and I had to go to receiving to get loaded. And now I'm at receiving and they're sending me over somewhere else to get unloaded. It's weird. I guess because I'm a flatbed. I'm a little different. But anyway, and there's a big truck coming at me. Outside services. I think this is where he told me I need to go. It said it'd be a big blue door and it says receiving at this other little door. So must be where I'm going. All right, I got unloaded. Had to pull into the building way down there uh, where I showed you. And there was people waiting on that bay. So I just threw everything up here on the trailer. And now I've got to use this parking lot to fold up my tarp and put away all my stuff. And the witch is still there. All right, got everything put away, including the tarp, which is right there. Got it all folded up. And uh, empty trailer. Let's head home. By the way, probably engine's loud. By the way, this is Schneider Electric, and uh, like I said, and right outside of Columbia. This is actually who my brother works for. My brother Tim, uh, one that had the camper in his backyard for a while, but. He works for them, and every so often he's at this plant. Ready to go? Let's go! He's excited to be out of the truck, apparently. We're making a fire pit. We went and got some block. It's gonna be a big fire pit. And he's gonna pour a cement slab right here and then put all these blocks on top of it so it'll have a cement base you got that right <coughs> and he's going to he's got a cement mixer here how many people these... can say they got a cement mixer not many people with all these supervisors around here it's got to be right <laughs> <laughs> I burned out like a wandering Some people would ask me why I'm using a cup. The reason is because I don't have Daniel Jones here to pick these bags up for me. So I'd rather scoop than the strain, you know? No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Team effort. Leave open the yeah, the way I poured them all is sewage water. The finished product. Still drying.
huh maybe later today we'll put some these bricks on it complete the fire pit well I scratched in the dirt for a while I gained all that I knew for a price in the end what I found was nowhere near as nice no matter Storm, I'm coming on. I'm coming on. Leave open the gate. Don't turn off the light. I'm coming on. All right, me and Dad, we just drove about an hour from his house. There's Dad back there. We just drove about an hour from his house down um, here. I think it's considered Landrum, South Carolina. And there is a bridge here. And uh, I want to do, I want to show you what this bridge is. like that. If they're going to use that, yeah. they'll put more, more mortar on one side than the other so that the brick tips just a little bit. Later, put this luck out on both sides. You know, I would be surprised.
prosecutor to deliver justice. Don't let the hell fool you. I like a good fight. My job is like a game of chess. I need to be five minutes ahead. Let's go. This is a win. All right, I'm just out here walking. Kind of nice, actually. Weather's great. Nice fall weather's finally, I think, made it here. But I got behind me back there, way back at the intersection, Ford dealership and I am getting my truck serviced. So, they've got it for a couple of hours, so I figured, hey, I'll walk to Walmart, just down this road. Does anybody else, when they're walking in a place like this, feel like you're gonna come up on a dead body? I always have a fear I'm gonna walk up on a dead body somewhere down in here. Oh well, maybe that's just me, because I'm weird. So what's up everybody so me and Nash are sitting here in the truck in Monroe North Carolina actually it's Indian Trail North Carolina but anyway I had to take the trailer in this morning to Big Tex Trailer World here in Indian Trail it's actually I think Stallings is where that one is and um, get it serviced they needed to repack the the bearings in the uh, axles or something so I don't know anything about that stuff but uh, apparently we should have been doing that a lot more than what we have been. So I took it in to get that done as well as uh, there was the, some grease fittings that has broken off. So they're going to replace those. And um, my trailer brakes, as you knew from the previous video, um, which the link is right there. Uh, the trailer brakes is uh, also, actually maybe the link's over here. I don't remember doesn't really matter no um anyway the trailer brakes they had broken so i did splice them back together but i'm not an electrician so i wanted them to check that too while they had it you know just do a whole serve uh, safety inspection or safety wellness check on the whole trailer so they doing that um i've rambled long enough about that um anyway there's nash he thinks because we're stopped he needs to get out so which i'll let him out in a minute anyway i asked him i said well how long do you think it'll take i thought maybe two hours you know at the most no we'll have it by we, we should have it done by tomorrow oh no 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 i have a load i gotta go pick up i need to be in tennessee tonight <laughs> with that trailer so he said he was going to have it, try to have it done. He was going to rush it and ha try to have it done by 5 o'clock. But granted, I was there at 9 o'clock this morning. So, uh, And it's like an hour and a half away from my parents' house. So now we just sit and wait in this city till he calls me. But the load I'm picking up requires 14 straps and carpet pieces to go between the strap and the and the load what the load is is a bunch of brand spanking new boat trailers and uh, apparently they have a real nice glossy finish or something and they don't want to mess that up and so i went to lowe's and bought me some carpet and then i went to harbor freight and bought me four more straps because i only had 10 straps and i needed 14 so i bought four more straps at harbor freight and uh, now I'm going to go rip up the carpet into small little squares or small little strips because I bought a 12 foot long strip of carpet. So I'm going to have to cut that down. And so I'm sitting here at Walmart just in case I need to go in there and grab something like a knife because I don't know if my knife is going to be very good for that. We'll see. And then... Uh, We'll be on our way to Tennessee. Pick up some boat trailers. After, well, after I pick up the trailer. And then, that is going to southern, sunny California. So, we're going to go there this week. 
probably be there next week, but we'll be driving all weekend. So anyway, so we're just chilling out, ain't we, Nash? Check him out. He's saying, let me go outside. <laughs> I also almost forgot to say Nash this morning. So we woke up like at five o'clock. This actually it was like four thirty, five o'clock this morning. And the first thing I do is I take him outside because he's got to go after being uh, sleeping all night. So took him outside. And at mom and dad's, I don't put him on a leash. And so he just goes and does his business and then comes back to me. And I got to looking around because I was just looking at my phone. And I got to looking, and I'm like, where is he? I don't know where he's at. Little punk head and ran away or something. So I go to the backyard, and well, there he is sniffing under one of Dad's uh, buildings, his storage buildings. And uh, all of a sudden, I started smelling a skunk. Apparently, he chased a skunk under the building. And uh, Nash don't smell too great. I don't think it sprayed him because he really don't smell that bad. You have to almost get like put like your nose on top of him to smell him. But when you do that, it about knocks you for a flip. But like, like right now, I don't smell him. But he's looking at me like, "What? I don't stink." <laughs> punk, punk done got all messed up. Got stinky, stinky butt. <laughs> all right. Anyway, I better take him out my carpet into strips now i got i think there's 25 i miscounted i thought i was trying to do 24 since i need 12 straps and i'll need one on each side of the strap so i got them carpet and i got some excess carpet excess carpet over there So I went and picked up this load, and they loaded it for me, they strapped it for me, they did everything. I didn't do anything, but I don't trust it. They did, come here. Look, I'm adding some extra straps. First way. Tractor number? Uh, 05. I have it inside. Thank you. Thank you. So, <clears throat> roll the window up. Just got the truck weighed. I'm going to go inside and get the ticket and see how much this thing weighs. And uh, just got to get parked first so I can go get the ticket. All right, that's all good. I'm supposed to be under 26. And I am and uh, all my axles look good too so we're good to go but that is right at the top of my weight limit so that's why it is acting like it is heavy because it is heavy but anyway trailers on top of trailers lemonade at the truck stop mm. <laughs> that's not lemonade Start the rebuilding of life 
the roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to thaw from within Today and not tomorrow There's no time to This morning half so clear a light as any To see the horizon in the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I... Well thanks for watching, I'm about to go to bed It's Sunday night and then uh, get up tomorrow and continue the journey to California. Merced, California is where we're heading. Um, update on the trailer. I did get it back, obviously. Um, and they had to replace all four hubs, pretty much. The three of them had a seal broken. And uh, so grease was everywhere inside of them. So they had to replace uh, three of them, and well, we went ahead and replaced all four because the other one was probably going to happen as well soon. So anyway, <clears throat> that's where we're at. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all that. Um, and we'll see you next week. Until then, have a good life. Time to buy.